Hello and welcome to Teacher's Notes. This is the second uh, in a series of coding videos that we're doing. And in this one, we're going to create a short role play game in which our sprite, the, uh, the cat here, celebrates his birthday by meeting and interacting with some of his friends. OK, so we're building on the code that we established in the first video with the um, up and down keys moving the character up and down screen so you can see here and, um, left and right okay and what we're going to do now is we're going to add a background so we have lots of cool backgrounds where we're going to celebrate our birthday and I think we'll do it at the farm so we're going to celebrate our birthday at the farm and now we're going to add some of these friends we choose some more sprites Okay, the bear looks a little bit big for this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change his size down to 70%. And he's also facing the wrong way, so I click over on costumes and then I can flip the bear horizontally. Okay, I can also be flipping vertically, so I'm just going to flip horizontally. Okay, so we have the bear there. Good. Let's have one more. And of course, if it's a birthday, we need a cake. So let's search for a cake. There it is. Wonderful. Okay, and the cake also looks a little bit big. Let's bring that down to about 70% as well. Okay, fantastic. Right. And what we're going to do is, we are going to... First of all, we're going to start off by setting the code so that when we click the flag, the cat will move to his original position. Go to, you can see the coordinates here, 18, so minus 31, Now, we're going to have the bear, I'm going to do the same with the bear, bear's in that position, that's fine, he's not going to move it, he's going to move it. So, what we're going to do is, when you can use flat, If, if he's touching the sprite one, okay. so if the bear is touching sprite one, he's going to say something. What he's going to say is, happy birthday. Okay, let me see how that works. We'll click one. So all we have to do, we need to add something. It's not just when we click the flag, it's at any time after we click the flag. Let's take the flag. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. There we go. Happy birthday. Let's see, it's very important. This is our decision. We're going to do a similar thing with the ballerina. If touching sprite, say something. Say looks. Okay. And according to the website, the sprite's name, oh, the cat's name is Arnold. So I'm going to say that. So happy. So let's see how that works, shall we? So it moves down to her, moves to the bear, the bear says happy birthday, then moves over to the, to the girl, and the girl says happy birthday Arnold. Okay, great. So that's working as well. And I'd like the, uh, <coughs> and then we're going to, I'd like the cat to be able to reply to these characters, so he's going to interact with them. And I'd also like the cat to change direction. So at the moment, when he goes forward, he's facing the right way. When he, when he goes right, he's facing the right way. When he goes left, he, he doesn't turn. So I'm going to 
going to change that, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so you can see here the left arrow key, we need to change the costume then, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this co costume, and I'm going to flip it that way. Okay, good, and this is called costume two. Okay, so I switch to costume two. Okay, and then I also got to have that one there as well, switch to costume one. Let's see how that works now, okay? So when he goes that way, he has costume one, and when he goes left, he has costume two. So that looks a little bit more natural. Okay, good. And I'm gonna program him to be able to say a few replies. So we're gonna use this one here, and we're gonna use different, let's say, we start with A. If the A key is pressed, he's gonna say something like, hello. And then if the S key is clicked, So you can change the other ones as well. Yes. And the S key is clicked, he's going to say thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's try this, okay? So back at the beginning, he moves over to the bear and he says hello to the bear. Bear says happy birthday. He moves down to the girl. And she says happy birthday, Arno. He replies, thank you so much. Okay, great. And finally, I'm going to have him walk over to the cake and say something when he hits the cake. So again, that's this. Then forever. If. Say it's one of the things I love to say. I love cake. Okay, and there we have it. So let's start from the beginning. Short little role play. So he moves around, he moves down to the bear. He says hi to the bear. The bear says, he moves over to the girl. to her and then finally he rolls over here and he says great I love cake okay actually one last thing we're gonna add we're gonna add a little bit of uh, music in here as well okay so um, they have lots of great music in here I wonder if they have a birthday yeah they do okay great so what we're gonna do now is click on that and then touches the cake, let's also play the music. So now you find that when he touches the cake, it plays the birthday music. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that. Just a simple role play, but it just shows you use the sensing coding so when the uh, two sprites touch each other how to have the characters speak and also how to uh, change the direction of the um, costumes as well so I hope you found that very useful like I said this is just the second lesson here a simple role play um, the next lesson we're going to have a um, game where we have more action an action game so please check out that I hope you will check out our video number three in the series Thanks very much for watching. If you like it, please do subscribe. Thank you.